All right, what's happening everybody? It's your boy Akeen and welcome to today's final blog. Here to give you one last preview of the MAC Conference for the 2015 college football season. And I'm going to wrap things up with Western Michigan. Now the Broncos had a good year last season going 8-5, and 6-2 and two overall in conference play. Just missing out on those two on losses, missing out and playing for the MAC Championship. And they're looking to rebound and get back into the hunt this upcoming season. And they have a couple of stars offensively that could definitely elude, explode them into the uh, MAC championship but we will see now their head coach PJ Flecker was the coach of the year last season after the team turned around from a 1 and 11 season in his first year pack in 2013 to 8 and 5 overall that's why he earned garnered um, a coach of the year honors now as far as the offensive side they averaged over 30 points per game and they have a great um, monster, monster at quarterback, running back, and at wide receiver. Starting with quarterback Zach Terrell, he is a junior entering this season, and he had 3,443 3, yards passing, 26 touchdowns, and 10 interceptions. His leading target is a junior entering this season in Corey Davis, who led the MAC with 1,408 yards receiving last season and 15 receptions for touchdowns. And they have a couple of offensive linemen who are returning this season. They're, uh, and they're both seniors and offensive guard James Kristoff as well as Willie Beavers. Both these two players were actually garnered all MAC conference honors at the end of the season. But the star of the offensive side is their sophomore and Javarian Franklin, who was the freshman of the year of the MAC conference. Not only the freshman of the year, but the offensive player of the year. He had a great freshman campaign with 1,551 yards rushing on the ground, 24 rushing touchdowns, and he even had 160. 68 yards as a receiver um, out of the backfield. Now, this is a great monster between Corey uh, Davis, Javari, and Franklin, and quarterback uh, Zach Terrell. Now, I mentioned that Zach Terrell and uh, Corey Davis are juniors, and, and uh, Franklin is just a sophomore. So, we're going to see at least two more seasons unless they uh, unless uh, Davis or Terrell decided to come out as juniors. But I think they have two more um, seasons to make it to a MAC championship and give the team a crown for the MAC title. Now, as far as the defense, they lost a couple of key players in the secondary, and Justin um, Carey, as well as first team um, all honors in uh, Donald uh, uh, Salazar. He uh, actually uh, led the team in interceptions, but they do have the return of a great uh, secondary player in Ronald Zormer, who had just 28 tackles, but he's a great cover corner with four interceptions and 16 pass breakups. Reminds me of numbers like Deion Sanders, not really tackling much, but he definitely has great cover skills. Now, as far as the secondary entering this season, Asante uh, Brown, Tyree Stone Davis, and uh, Rontavius Atkins is going to have to step it up this season. And because of those key losses in the secondary, these three players are going to have to step it up and help out uh, Zormat this season. Now, the D linemen, they need to step it up as well. And Ed Pickham's defense is going to have to do a better, a great job as far as the pass rush. And they do have two players in particular who I'm looking for to improve this year as pass rushers. That's Cleveland um, Smith and Robert. Robert Spill, um, Spill Lane, both these two players combined for 10 sacks. They're looking to, to double the, that amount this upcoming season. Now, as far as their recruits, their um, top recruits starting with a defensive tackle and Kenneth uh, Tindley. He's 6'2", 285 pounds. And then they picked up a wide receiver at 6'3", 195 pounds and Kadeem Goldborn. I think this is a decent player. And lastly, from Fort Wayne, Indiana, they picked up Justin um, Tranquil, an athlete. He's 5'11", 170. 75. I think he's going to be used more as a possibly a number two receiver, but he can even convert in the defensive end. But I think he's going to play offense um, during his career for the Broncos. Now, this season is going to be a rocky start because they have a hard schedule. They have a game against, um, they start off their season against Michigan State. Then they have a game against Georgia Southern, and they even have a game against Ohio State. I think they're going to have at least um, um, four losses entering um not not entering conference play, but entering on um, going towards the end of the season because the final three games of their season they have to play against Bowling Green, Northern Illinois, and of uh, Toledo, three of the top teams of the MAC conference, and this is going to be an interesting year for them. I think overall they're going to go seven and five. The, the, the defense they have to replace a lot of players in the secondary, and they're going to lose at least um at least half um at least uh. 
four games in my opinion probably in the first half of the season alone because they have a tough uh, strength of schedule this upcoming season but this is going to be very interesting and I'm definitely going to be looking forward to possibly of them pulling off some upsets this year but it's going to be a tough year so I have to give uh, my, my best guess in this one I think they're going to go 7-5 and five overall and not make it to a MAC championship but possibly they can make it in 2016 now that wraps things up for my blogs today I really just have three more teams to talk about and I'm going to talk about those then Tuesday morning Army Notre Dame and BYU I see you guys then thank you for watching today's blogs I'm your man Keen McCall be easy